against the champion province, Western Province, last Saturday. Well, uh, Hugh Davis, almost man and ball together there. In fact, it was John Palmer, Tobias, through from Villette. Herber, Kunis in the line, Herber again. Really scorching through the England ranks, taken on by Berger. 12 metres out from the England line to Serpentine, there's a man over on this side, Villette. The loose pass to Carl Duplessis. Keeps going, checks inside. Past Hill and through for the try. Brilliantly taken. Carl Duplessis. And the pressure told. It looked as though it might have gone to grief as the ball went down here. But uh, watch how Duplessis cuts inside. First Winterbottom. And then sidesteps Hill. Leaves him stranded and through for a brilliant individual score. His second try for South Africa. Just quarter of an hour played. Tunis adds the conversion points. And the Springboks are menacing. Well, the pressure build-up had been substantial. Tobias by uh, the through pass from uh, Herber was loose but it worked well because it allowed Carl Duplessis to check inside as he regathered and then check twice and set up with his 22. Well Rogers, formerly of Rhodesia, Zimbabwe with that uh, throw in. And the free kick goes to England. Taken quickly, Horton tries the drop goal. It's looking good, it's there. Snap work by the Bath half-backs. The old routine for them. And John Horton adds another drop goal to his record England tally. That's his fourth. And one that pulls England back to within three points. The free kick for the closing in the line-out. And... Hill to Horton and smack through the middle. So just three points between the sides with almost 20 minutes of this first half play. And what value it is to have a club understanding if it's available at top level at half back. Sweet and true. So just within England's half. Midway through this first half, Serpentine, Tobias, Villette to Heber. And up to go again with uh, Tobias, lovely dummy. Back inside the Duplessis, and here's Sonicus looking for support, and he has it from Rogers, the hooker. Rogers just short of the line as Trick put in a superb saving effort and David Trick had sped across from the wing when Rogers looked home and dry and it would have been under the post so the pressure on and England's defence looking uh, more than suspect again so off with the real scrummage pitcher in possession the referee We'll ask them to cut down again. And some neat interplay by South Africa. England still on their own line. South Africa put the weight on. Hill under real pressure, but already the whistle has gone. And a five-metre scrummage given to the Springboks. So Serpentine with the foot in, five metres out in front of the post. The three quarters split either side, Tobias, dummies to beat Winterbottom, Tobias going the way, the scoring pass, 
dropped by Villette. But once again, the threat of Tobias, the little show of the ball that sends players the wrong way. This 34-year-old fly half posing all sorts of problems for England. Flipped away by Richard Hill, but again England penalised up front for the scrummage collapse. And certainly as we saw in the scrum that preceded that one, England's tight forwards succumbing to immense pressure from the bulk in the heart of this Springbok pack. So a chance for Hunis to make it a six-point lead once more. That's 17 minutes of this half to go. Hunis, who's looked accurate enough so far on penalty one conversion. How about that? Inch perfect. And back to a six-point lead. Drop out by Tobias. Scott setting it up. Through from Creedy, Hill, Horton, Palmer. It's a bath club combination, but the tight defence of South Africa. Mills again there. Fiddler now. Bill caught though by the outstretched arm of Stockberg, who's offside. Penalty to England just inside South Africa's half. And will uh, Scott pull up Dusty Hare from here? Certainly has. three points that'll do nicely so once more England's dependable source of points dusty hair 13 minutes remain of this half hair with his second successful penalty and 12 points to nine now, South Africa's lead. Scott once more from the restart kick. Back from uh, Freedy. Horton not finding touch that time. Carl Duplessis off on the counter. There's that. Looking for the long find, but it's kept in play by Hunis. Changes pace. Hair waits. Hunis challenges. Down goes Fiddler. And Scott there first. Knock on given. South Africa's put in just outside England's 22. Less than 12 minutes of this half to go. South Africa wait while referee René Oké of France tries to keep the two front rows from dropping the scrub again. Tobias off to the right. It's him now. Chip through once more. Tunis took it well. Tobias looked to knock it on. The referee waits, I think, for any England advantage. None comes. There's that Gloucester triumvirate, Blakeway on the tight head, Mills and Freedy. Clearing the 
double. So South Africa bidding today for the first victory over England since 1961. The last two encounters, both going England's way, and of course the most recent one some 12 years ago that remarkable turn up for the books by John Pullen's men in Johannesburg but England trail here 12 points to 9 John Palmer looking for support bit slow to come and South Africa on the counter with Tobias again there's that sharp acceleration through to Herber tackled by Hill on it goes through to Visaki this is Villette couldn't get the pass through as Winterbottom put in an all embracing tackle and one or two of the England players upset by the uh, follow through of Dani Kherber which looks to have left Mark Bailey injured on the deck well here was the build up of that attack there's Kherber, good effort there by Hill Fisaki, Tobias the link man now Kherber well and truly down by Winterbottom so there, sleeves rolled up, ankle socks down, Chris Butcher standing off. Skulkberger, Tobias. Two minutes plus injury time at this half to go. On your Williams back to position. England with the first shortened line out. Scott did well. Snappy pass from Hill to Horton charged by John Hall on South Africa's 22 England clawing their way back in this last quarter of an hour and winning a penalty on South Africa's 22 as they dived over the top and surely here a golden opportunity for Dusty Hare to level the scores just slightly off centre and about 23 metres out so, this will indeed give England a fillip if he gets it. Dusty hair. Once more. And 12 points all. So, we're two minutes into injury time, the end of this first half. with the final play of the first half which I think uh, quite reasonably stands all square at 12 points all South Africa though with one superb individual try from Carl Duplessis dominant for the first 25 minutes England though coming back well having been 9-3 down a, a drop goal by Horton a brace of penalties by Dusty Hare pitting them on terms and perhaps as close an encounter as we'd all anticipated here with this England side clearly with renewed confidence lacking in inexperience to an extent but clearly going to challenge South Africa the whole way England's line new cap Chris Rogers but Fiddler's won it for England Hill's put it away so 35-year-old John Fiddler with a, a very important line-out win. Can he do it again? Initially he did. The ball knocked through at the line-out. The drive just about 12 metres out. Touch judges flag is up, but the referee, I think, had been playing advantage and may well have penalised Fiddler as he came wheeling through that line-out some moments before eight points from his boot already two penalties in the conversion it's about 28 meters out straight through the post and South Africa retake the lead eight minutes played of the second half And with that kick, Hunis uh, incidentally becoming the 
player to score the most points ever against England in an international, surpassing that of Darby Snayman in 1972. So 11 points for Hunis, 15 for South Africa. And again, that record tally of points against England, South Africa's greatest ever, albeit just 15. Three points ahead then. Tobias off the left foot. Bailey looks for the counter-attack chance thrown round by Fasaki but a penalty given to England about six metres inside the South African half and the choice given of the kick at goal or the scrummage back and John Scott has opted for the scrummage on the 22 So, South Africa put on a tremendous surge at that one. Butcher did well to get it away. Winterbottom supports well. Good pass through to Bailey. Good improvisation by England. But the pass forward. And that really was quite a remarkable rescue act from a scrum that was really in dire straits. Ten metres out. Hill through to spoil, flip up, ball falls to Sonicus, but the referee not happy with the first put in any case. Ten metres out still from the Springbok line. And shrill glass on the whistle, free kick for the ball, not in straight. So a chance here of perhaps a second drop goal for Horton. Here it comes. But left of the post and a chance lost for levelling the scores. That's effective, my word. some smart thinking there by Dani Kherber to the blind side and almost as far as England's 22 15-12 South Africa lead 11 and a half minutes into the second half Steve Mills is fourth international but you're losing out on that one Serpentine, Tobias, Kerber, Villette just bouncing there off Hugh Davis. Kerber again. Hugh Davis. Bit of escapology. Dusty hair. At least made it safely to touch. And England looking uh, just or living rather a little precariously in defence John Scott captain of Cardiff until the end of last season recalled as captain of England but it's certain pain for South Africa Tobias Kerber through to Hunis coming into the line breaks the tackle Hunis now the pass to ground to Duplessis who had just about overrun him and England really fortunate to escape from this Tobias Kerber and Hunis really broke the tackle of Hugh Davis looked almost certain try on and Carl Duplessis couldn't take it so Stringer taking over the position which he's uh, done before of wing three-quarter having replaced Slemon once and John Carlton once in international rugby so an accustomed role for the Wasps fullback awkward bounce for Hill Winterbottom
Peter Winterbottom played all four tests for the British Lions last year. And still in England unable to break away from their N22. That was Berger again, Serpentine, Tobias with a difficult pass. And the referee deciding the player wasn't offside, so Serpentine carries on, breaks the first man. Serpentine, Rogers, Serpentine again. The ball over the line, but a knock-on preceded it. And what a let-off for England. As Serpentine played cat and mouse with England's defence. So it was Sonicus who set it back. And away went little Divan Serpentine. Lovely break back inside. Rogers and Serpentine losing possession as he tried to go over again. Possession for Tobias, Carl Duplessis, but the referee calls them back for another scrummage. So England backs to the wall. Hill, John Horton deep inside his own goal area. And puts it out on the 22. So a certain pain. So nearly a third try for him in Springbok colours. Taken in by Hall. And looked to me that Saki had come through offside. I think the referee has decided to play advantage, which certainly accrued from that fine clearance. So for once, a little breathing space for England. We're into the last quarter of the match. About 17 minutes to go. And indication of uh, use of the elbow and barging by England in the lineup once more. So the 26-year-old former local university student, Johan Hunis. Trying to make it a six-point lead once more. It's not far off. Indeed, it's there. So a massive drop, massive penalty goal by Johan Hunis. 16 minutes to go. South Africa go back to a clear six-point lead. forward set up is put in England this time put on the wheel Sonicus is up to Serpentine Stringer difficult half volley and it falls for Herber Herber against Hare Herber clean through with that little sidestep to score under the post world class play from a man held as a world class centre how well he took it but how cruel for England. The conversion points added by Hunis. And all of a sudden England in desperate straits, 12 points adrift. And less than a quarter of an hour to go, about 14 minutes. And that really has changed the whole complexion of this match. A moment of transformation, the half charge down kick and an almost impossible ball for Nick Stringer. And look how well Herber took his chance as the ball fell to him. Just cut inside Dusty Hare and thereafter was unopposed. 12 minutes plus injury time remaining. Up goes East Hazen. But... Uh, well have been a bit of uh, lifting in that line out penalty against Hempers de Toy and England desperately need this to be successful in Dusty Hare three penalties already
so three points to lift England again and the deficit to nine points still a long way back and Dusty Hare with 12 of England's 15 points 10 minutes to go Suffontaine Tobias hesitating and held by Horton Butcher Stringer Hill hampered South Africa offside player on the wrong side no clearing advantage so Dusty Hare to Horton back to the pack stop there just short of the halfway line it's out to Serpentine Tobias Kerber strong elusive Butcher tackled him the referee sees it that could be the death knell in England's coffin the final nail the kick long gone when Butcher came in with the tackle as you can see so a foolish error and will Funis make them pay 24, 15 as he kicks and no mistake so back to a clear 12 point lead and just 8 minutes remain with 19 points out of the tally of 27 for South Africa Horton this is Palmer straight through to Davis. Tripp, who's really not had a run all afternoon. The pick up by Villette. The feed through to Herber. Herber has Eunice. Great cover tackle by Stringer to save the day. And England's attempt there at attack looked pretty laboured. Trick with uh, so little room. Carl Duplessis with the tackle. There's Villette with the pickup. Kerber almost idling there as Dusty Hare came in. And Tunis held by Stringer. It's South Africa driving this one home. 27 points to 15. It's Carl Duplessis cross comes here forced to make a brave effort again and in trouble back it is Richard Hill so the crowd now clapping in support Tobias Kerber held by Butcher Serpentine again still pounding the England defence 12 metres out Serpentine beautiful pick up by Tobias tempted drop goal charge down by Hugh Davis as Villette tried that goes Eunice England for once break out of their own half a rare moment this on South Africa's 22 where they've seldom been since the start of the second half Serpentine over the head of Dusty Hare will look to run it perhaps no the challenge was close so the rucks perhaps uh, as far as the distance can indicate favouring South Africa penalties too but possession 
for South Africa's forwards. Much the greater. Butcher, Fiddler, Hill. And uh, breakdown at half-back for once. Hugh Davis pulled back for the earlier knock-on. So I make it three minutes plus injury time remaining. South Africa then bidding this uh, succession of England victories against them. The last two occasions they've met, albeit 12 and 15 years ago. And South Africa now bidding for a fifth win in this series of eight. The last, some 23 years ago, at Twickenham. And the steam seemed to have gone a bit out of England's effort. South Africa riding high. Stringer under pressure pulls and gets the mark. And South Africa in the happy position of being a clear 12 points ahead. England's performance a week ago, doing so much to heighten optimism. Still a keenly contested game. Winterbottom, as ever, to the fore. Hill looking for the gap himself floats it through beautifully Hugh Davis trying to distribute Dusty Hare in support speculative pass not just a hand South Africa on the counter Carol Duplessis and the referee had been playing a long advantage and England now have a chance to run it again from back in their own half though a minute plus injury time to go and a further hold up by one of the Springbok players is receiving attention. More than two minutes of injury time now played. 27 to 15. From 12 all at half time, remember. Rolling ball. The drive by Ustazen. Taken on by Berger. Eight metres out. Serpentine. Saki. Tunis up there. England desperate in their defence. And it's back eventually to Richard Hill, who finds the safety of touch. The referee looks at his watch. Only moments surely remain. We've played almost four minutes of injury time. And... It'll be one test to love in this series of two for South Africa by a record margin. Again, the forwards who've been uh, never equaled by England in this. Rob Lowe to Rogers. Carl Duplessis knocks on. And perhaps the final scrummage. So England's brave efforts. and how little England have been out of their own half in this second period of play. South Africa, again, power in the set piece. England never able to equal that. Possession again, Tobias, Villette, Herber, Avril Williams, trying to break away himself, flips it on to Hunis. Down there by Hugh Davis to Serpentine. Carl Duplessis and the try in the corner rounds it off Rob Lowe it is Rob Lowe ends it in dramatic style for South Africa the player who scored tries in two tests against the British Isles 
and now powering his way on the end of the line beating the unavailing efforts of John Hall and 31 points for South Africa and a hat-trick of tries spell out their superiority in the end Tunis and how about that to round it off the final whistle blows South Africa 33 points to 15 triumphant and what a second